Hey you folks, Quillitine here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Grand Ages Medieval. Not Rome, as I said at the end of the last episode. I'm probably going to make that mistake more than once, because Grand Ages of Rome has been in my brain for quite a bit longer than Medieval. Uh, so I'm just used to saying that, but yeah. You, knew it. you guys know what I mean, right? What are we missing over here? Oh, yes, tools. And we've got some idle builders, which is fine. And the, at the end of the last episode, we went and unlocked all the building types. So, have to decide what we're going to do about that. Do we cancel any of our uh, production over here and switch over? I don't think so. We've invested a fair amount into this. I think the thing to do is actually to go and found a new city. Um, and I'm tempted to just found it a little further down on this coast. We'll nab more territory, which will help us level up. Uh, it'll be a good way to feed the tools into Constantinople. Um, it's a little bit separated from uh, Bursa and Nicomedia, but I think that's going to be okay. Um, we may have to go and take control over at least one of our traders at some point to run some of this stuff manually, but for now, we're going to be okay. Bursa's on our upswing. I'm worried about going ahead and building um, the, um, what am I saying, the, the settler over here, just because I don't want to, like, strap their economy too much. Although, you know what? They have tons of wood and bricks, and they've got some idle workers. I think we're actually going to be fine. So let's go ahead and recruit. Oh, it's actually grain, but we have a lot of that, too. Or it's all three of them. Um, it's going to be a little short on a few workers, but that's okay. The businesses seem to be full on workers. They don't, they're not complaining about being short. So I think we're going to be okay. And I think the upswing uh, will continue as long as we keep feeding them everything. Missing raw materials. So you're having a hard time getting... So you're good on honey. It's grain you need more of. Uh, how much do you have kicking around here? Some, not necessarily an unlimited amount. Um, it might not be a terrible idea. It's a bit competing with the settler, but I think we're going to be okay. Well, we've got all the building material we need here. We're going to go ahead and pump out some extra grain farms. I don't know if there's a cap on how many of these things you can have, but we'll see how it goes. Get some extra grain. Speaking of grain, you're going to be bringing it over here. Good. You're going to be bringing a variety of things over there. Um, and you are maxed out on your carts. Yeah, we're going to have to add some extra carts to some of these traders. You are far from maxed out, but this one here... I think is really going to make heavy use of carts. It'll be interesting to see how much it picks up from Nicomedia. Not quite a full load, but almost. Just fast forwarding over here. Uh, where are you? The guy I have selected. Is that you? Theodore, yes. Good. Once you're in Bursa, we are going to go and add two extra carts to you, because we may as well. It'll be interesting to see how many goods it can actually pick up out of Bursa. Okay. A little bit overkill, but you know what? On some of the trips, it might actually need it. You no longer have a shortage of goods, which is really good. Yeah, good, good. Um, building squad, I'm going to move you to Constantinople in preparation for our settler. And actually, uh, no, that's just our building squad. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get him to build a road over here. And oh, there we go. There's my settler all done. So I'm going to get you way. to move way over here, buddy. And I'm going to put you coastal. That way we can... Um, apparently we found out last time that when you build a city on the coast, it builds a harbor, and that'll give us some extra movement potential. Especially, we might end up building a city somewhere down here, or across the way in northern Africa, that would be interesting. We haven't actually met any of our opponents yet, we'll have to take a look at that. Oh, um, you, Mr. Scout, yes. How's life over here? Let's get on with it. Ooh, commodities, a bunch of wool, very Let's nice. And then you're just gonna keep scooting a boot. Alright, that's a little... Oh! First competitor! Largest possible empire. We can begin negotiations, probably, no if problem. I get over there. Let's see what kind of negotiations might be possible with a competitor. Salutations. Perhaps you've noticed my wonderful... You have a good offer for me. So the same sort of deals that you can get with neutrals, for example. Um, we're going to hold off. I don't think we're going to negotiate with this guy. I'm tempted to forward settle him. Just keep going up this coast. I still think that it's going to be a little bit stronger for us to start... Um, to start something on this coast over here. Because I think that's going to be some useful transportation. Now, does it actually... Is there at the any way. point an indication whether it'll actually be coastal or not? I mean, it's got the water in there, so presumably this will make a harbor. Fish, salt, pottery. Some overlap with Constantinople, although it'll be a bit of a production-y town. Although, if I say that, if I'm going to make tools, really, We're I do want coal off. and metal. Maybe I should settle inland at a place where we can get both. There's metal, there's coal. 
maybe we'll do this and then set a little further over. Coal, metal, bricks, lumber, I mean, so the production's going to be pretty well set up um, if we want all those things. Oh, Let's do that. Constantinople, you've got an inn. Let's make sure to recruit a new trader since we can. Oh, I got another achievement progress. Founder, three of four. Adrianople, you're going to do metal, coal, tools as well. Um, and then what are the last two going to be? Well, I don't think we're producing wool, and maybe we'll do fruit, because I don't think we're doing anything like that over here. And so that might be a nice little addition. So right now you don't have the goods, you're going to swing down unless we can get some resources your way. I'll go ahead and queue up um, one coal pit and one metal mine, just to get that going, but of course we don't currently have any materials. Building squad, you're going to build a road from Constantinople to Adrianople. And my scout is still hanging up over here. We're going to bring him down. So we're going to continue sort of like semi-rapid expansion over here. Let's see how it goes. Um, is this one of my traders? Yeah. I need a route. Um, hang on. You're going to go from Bursa to Adrianople. Because that should help bring wood and bricks over to there. And then you can sell some wares in Constantinople. And then sell them in Bursa again. Okay, I like that. And of course, we're still getting an extra trader. Which I might run manually. That's this guy right over here. Um, I don't suppose there's a bunch of... Yeah, there's a bunch of extra wood. That'll cap you out. Let's do something like that. And then 40 bricks. We don't have to worry about over uh, consuming over here in Constantinople. Because it's from our own city, so... The romance level doesn't matter. On the other hand, it's going to be important to start doing some negotiations over here. They love me quite a bit. Oh, there we go. Why don't we... Uh... No, not degrade. Upgrade to a peace agreement. Upgrade to an alliance. Cool. And is that as much as we get? Oh. Demand town. So as long as your popularity is at least 95 and your sympathy is at least 80%. Okay, so our sympathy is not high enough. If you do not request anything at all, if you select this request, you'll be giving the other party a gift. Oh, we can just suck up to them for more sympathy. Does that work? This offer looks right. Oh, not interested right now. So we'll get back to you. We'll try to bump that up to 80%, and apparently we might just be able to consume the city and add it to our list. Good! Um... I can't just move you over here, can you? Oh, we can. Yeah, okay, do that, because then we can negotiate, as long as there's someone in that area. Uh, our little trader over here is still working to bring that lumber and bricks over to Adrianople, which is good. Still uh, wagon tracks. And yeah, I still want a coastal city, but it could be a little further down. I think this was a good idea to do this sort of thing. So now... Uh, wait... Oh, that's the one I manually sent there. That's right. He's not auto-trading. like, why is that stuff not going away? I'm going to produce, provide both of those, which is going to be fine. Um, I will manually have you come over to Bursa. We'll pick up some more. Then I'm going to automate a route. You over here are going to sell more wood and more bricks. Wonderful. Well, not that much wood, apparently, because now they're satisfied. Um, missing bureau of materials. Wait, what are you building? What are you missing? No, you got everything you need. You've got lumber, you've got bricks. Maybe just needs... There we go. Just need a little bit of time to process that. Okay. You've got that. Builders over here. So... Your help will be much appreciated. Now, what do you want? You want grain. Extraordinary. Sure. You Further can do that. Negotiation. Oh, you wish to make me an offer. Let's go to peace agreement as well. We're going to try to bring this up as much as possible. Your negotiation skills surpass... Oh, you wish to make me an offer. Military Alliance. Actually, maybe we don't need to go up to Military Alliance. Can I just ask for a city right away? Yeah, as long as we raise the sympathy. So, um, so over here, if we go, so this is just going to be a gift. And I'm going to offer you 10 grand. Is that just going to do 5% again? No. It varies. Cool. All right. Mayor Virus? What? agreeable offer do you have for me today? 
will try to buy your love again. Your negotiation skills surpass everything. Okay, we'll get back to you in a turn. What about over here? I hope that I'll negotiate good. I like your offer. I bet you do. Uh, let's go with like six grand. I can definitely. Eighty-two percent. All right, we'll come back. Cool. We might be able to just add more towns to our entire empire. Make sure we've got more traders going on. We're almost there. Build random roads. Uh, one of these is my idle trader. Oh, okay, he's not idle yet. We gotta wait for that little pop-up to happen. Adrianople, you are building nicely. Very good. Uh, we don't need the inn, the chapel, the barracks. Oh yeah, you, you're still building your office, which is fine. Um, I won't keep up anything here because we won't have the workers yet. But I want to let these run for a little bit before I start building the smithy. Probably be annoying, like the smithy will need tools itself. No, thank goodness. And it'll be nice to be able to produce our own because I don't think right now... Oh yeah, Izmir. Once we pull Izmir in here, then maybe we can get um, a little bit more metal wares production going on. We can make sure to feed them properly. Is Bursa growing? Yep, upswing. Lots of free workers around. Good. Um, I don't know about that. So that's why I come out of these for resale in the town. Trade routes will then be able to deliver greater quantities to the town than it requires for its own needs. Right. I don't know. Let's... Oh, I can't build it yet. Gotta unlock it. Just teasing me. Alright, I guess this is the plus. Um, yeah, I don't have a ton of money. I've run into a little bit of money woes before with my construction. Oh, yes. Uh, my idle worker, your job is to deliver grain specifically. So, we've got that. We need 28 grain. So, we'll make sure to buy 28 units of grain in Bursa. And Happy we'll just manually well. walk them over to Ankara. Which will give us way more sympathy than we need, actually. But it also completes a mission. Like that. Fantastic how you did that. What agreeable offer do you have? So, there we go. Can I just do this? I'm surprised at how bad your oh. offers are. Alright. So I should have sent some money along with that. Alright, fair enough. Good to have you here. I need your help. You need fish? I that I can what else okay. Is good? Well, I'll what if I just ask you for your town? And offer you... 10,000 bucks. That might not be enough. They might need lots of money. No. I will not accept this offer. Good. I'll Readjust like a little. Offer. What if I say 20 grand? Cool! Offer your... Accept your offer, place themselves in your production. Town is now part of the Empire. So I own more territory. Uh, mission failed, because you can't deliver the fish anymore. So this will act as some amount of that territory. Prosperity is going up. Yeah, see, they don't have that much metal wares going on here. They do have a fair amount of requirement for coal, which we're going to have to try to supply to them. Uh, they'll want to su uh, that soon. Uh, not that soon, a chapel soon, because the population is getting up there. We'll build another smithy. And we are slowly bringing them some coal. We need Nicopedia over here. Build, like, a ton more coal production. We just need lots of coal in the area. Because you don't have a ton in the bank, no. Um, workshop statue. Yeah, the warehouse tech might be very important for us. 24 grand. Let's wait. I don't have any cash right now, so we'll hold on on that. And there's a little scoutable thing over there. Oh! Free my scout. Hey, new rank! Wholesaler! More development points. Nice. What is this? A tent? Let's check that out. Tent. An old veteran comes out. Oh, they're going to get a bunch of experience points and some money. Good. And then my opponent is Nearby. doing some scouting. All right. Do we want to start considering military? Do we want to start doing development over here? Construction yards, road constructions, which is better. The fortress, the chapels, uh, capacity of all carts will be increased. Half the time to trade might be useful. Where is the, the warehouse tech, actually?
build an office so towns can build that. Manual trade routes, half the time to trade. Free workers to another town. Mining, actually that might be really useful for us because we could use quite a bit more metal. Weaving, the smithery, production of timber and metal wares will be doubled and extractive metallurgy will increase by one barrel per week. Demand for raw materials will increase proportionally. More coal mining. And then we've got all the military units. And we have met a neighbor, so there's something to be said about actually taking up some military. Production of pottery would be doubled. We're not doing a lot of um, pottery. Yeah, hold on. The research of new buildings and units can be found in the dialogue business. Wait. There's no dialogue business. Oh, they settled a new town. Alright, we have our barracks. Oh, and then we can build these things. No. Research new buildings and units can be found in the dialogue business. Well, it's not. There's a development. Maybe that's what they mean. Because, I mean, clearly we have to unlock some military units at some point. It might be a good idea to get started on that. Because we can get mercs right now. But I think our own units will be a better thing to do. Mounted units. Archers are always good. Let's unlock archers and spearmen. And... This mining bonus. So, Bursa, where we do have barracks. Spearmen, how come I can't do archers? Oh, drill ground. Recruitment of archers. Okay. Relatively cheap. Let's get that started. And let's hire some spearmen. And plan maybe some military things. Okay, this trader over here... We're going to set... Um, what is your trader out going to be? Some more metal wares there. Uh, actually, I know what you're going to do. You're going to go from here to there. Because there's more coal production there. Which you can bring to Izmir. And then you can bounce back that way. And just run that. The journey and activate. Begins. Okay. A little extra trade, which is worth something. What are you looking for? Building materials or tools. You are missing labor. One thing that might have been nice is unlocking the technology that lets us ship labor around. That may indeed be handy. we got to wait for this population to uh, to fill out before we can um, get that going. I suppose in the short term, I can go and Greetings. make some trades here. Do you have to offer? It doesn't tell me what I have here, which is really annoying. I have a ton of lumber. Okay, good. So, if I come here and I go to Greetings. offers and I want to buy metalwares in exchange for lumber, and I need 10 metalwares because I have enough lumber for that, Thank we'll exchange the it. Trade. There we go. So that will deal with the missing goods in Constantinople momentarily, as soon as it processes. Which always seems to take a tick. Wait, you still have one left? Do you need... Does this production need tools, or...? Alright, whatever. We'll buy one extra tool, then. Welcome. What can I do for you? We're in business. And let the game run. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, maybe it got consumed by the population. That's possible. Welcome. So let's buy um, five more. This is how it should be. Hopefully we've got enough. Yeah. And there we go. Ah, I think that's what it, that's what it was. It got consumed by the population who wants them. So we got some troops over here. Oh, not only that, we still have our scout somewhere. Way Almost over here. there. We're gonna scout. Um, I wonder if we can go a little further. Possibly not, because I think there's a range based on you know where our cities are. So we'll keep going down this coast. That's going to be okay. I'd still like to found another city, but we'll wait. Still a shortage of population over here. Um, cap sort of on everything. But it probably wouldn't hurt to get a couple extra grain farms. And some extra honey as well, because we don't have that much production of it in our entire little empire. And what are you missing? Missing labor. Oh, and that's draining away a little bit. What are you complaining about? Oh, you don't have fish. Yeah, okay. 
Continental, you can do fish, right? Let's get... Uh, that's a lot of money. We may have, want to wait a little bit. Yeah, we'll build that. That's going to be okay. Overall, our money should be okay. We are paying for a few troops now, which are more expensive. Ooh. Perhaps you'll be interested in an offer. You're going to offer me... Is this what you're offering me? 16 grand and a unit in exchange for transit? I hope. I'll say yes and we'll find out. Okay, it is. Good. Sure. Percentage of its soldiers is extremely high. So, let's see here. Where does it talk about what their actual demand? Like, how much they need? Morale. Oh, there's money. Yeah, they are pretty expensive. Oh, those are the mercenaries I just got. Right. That's where we're going. Group of monks. We come from a town in the west, and we're. Shall we tell you about your home? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Groovy. Um, so much running about. Uh, you're not going to be able to go through there. So come around this way. We'll see what we can do. Meanwhile, Almost scout. There. I think we're going to have to go and see if we can declare war and how that works. I'm a little concerned Practically there. about the difficulty. We don't have a ton of money in the bank. Maybe the right thing to do is actually store up a bunch of money first. And no then problem. we can really build a massive army. We don't have our archers yet, so... That's a thing. It's nearby. No problem. Something you said about just leaving my military um, on the front line uh. over here. At least closer to Constantinople. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Build more fish. Finish that butchery. Adrianople, you are still short on workers, but you are growing, which is nice. I get a little bit more of that going on. We'll try to get at least one building of every type going on, because at least um, they will use these resources internally. They've got a little bit of consumption of these things, right? They could use a little bit of fruit. Um, they could use a tiny bit of wool. Consumption by soldiers. Ah, all towns. Well, that won't actually help. We can see shortages. Like, we still don't have pottery going on. Now, Ankara over here can produce pottery, but it's missing raw materials. What does it use? Oh, we don't know. Let's Your just buy these guys. Me. What's that? What agreeable offer do you have for me today? Ten grand. It's impossible for me to agree to this offer. What agreeable offer do you have for me today? 20 grand. Maybe maybe 15 would be fine. Actually, let's do 15 first. If he shuts me down for a little while, it's not the end of the world. Hey, there we go. All right, pottery. What is it? Oh, it's coal. Coal makes pottery. Okay. Yeah, no wonder you have a shortage of raw goods, and you've got the extra bakery there as well. I don't suppose we could replace this bakery with coal here, can we? We can. Oh, I have to demolish the businesses first. I mean, bakery's not bad, and we've got some extra coal coming around down there. I think we're okay. This trader, yeah, you're going to do that, so you're going to help bring some coal from here, back up there. That's all right. Nicomedia. Do we have a trader that goes from Nicomedia to there? Okay, this trade is good. Hey, and you rank. Cool. That's okay. How do we have to list them all my traders? Would be nice. Trading roots. Okay, these are just stats. Tell you what, I'll go through and cancel everyone's active route so they'll become idle. Um, burst. I don't suppose I can queue up another trader, can I? Oh, I can. Ah, from the extra towns. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That'll make it a lot easier to work things out. So, we're going to let the traders complete their current voyage. There we go. Now that they're idle, we'll work that out. So, you produce metal, you can get coal from here. So, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to set a route. We're going to clear everything. You're going to go here, pick up coal, drop it off there, drop off some tools there, and then probably swing back through Izmir and do that, because then technically tools will flow the other way as well, which is good. Okay, so that's that route. Next trader in Bursa. You're going to go 
Bursa. Genetic media to here to back. Now, that coal and metal should, in theory, make its way over here. Although not necessarily. The coal will go here, which will be good for the pottery. I'm a little bit worried about the metal route, though. Let's, let's take that for now. Oh, we got development points as well. Gold reserves are negative. Ah, oh, but it's going to go back up in a second because we're not trading. Uh, let me pause momentarily while we work out these routes. Or just bring the speed way, way down. Okay, your route... Mr. Idler is going to... Oh, actually. I think I'm forgetting to activate the routes here. here. We go. You're going to do that. That is what's happening. Cancel. So that's the one I just put in. So now I have two doing the same thing. Actually, this one's the wrong one. Cancel you. Go there. What a pain in the ass to micromanage these stupid routes. Okay, you, traitor. I... Okay, you're the one doing the north. That's fine. And you're the one... Not doing anything. Fuck's sake. God, this is a really annoying interface because... Like, I can get a list of trading routes here. It doesn't actually tell me who's doing anything. Okay, so we only have one active trading route. That's going to the north. All right. Second Journey trading route begins. is to the west. Good. All right. You, you're going to run this route. We're going to activate it. Here we go. So we've got the north. We've got this eastern route. We've got this western route. Next trader over here, you're going to run the southern route and just sort of go back and forth. I think that's going to be fine. Activate the that. Is ready. Event that's taking place in Ankara. Missing raw materials, missing that. Famine in town, ugh. And that leaves me one idler. So with you, let me... Hang on. Idler. Let me do some quick trading over here. What do you have? Can I sell anything here? Yeah, a little bit. Um, that'll be fine as well. The fish will be fine here. I'm going to take... A bu uh, not the wood. Grain. Fruit. Because we do have a uh, food shortage. Maybe some honey. And I don't know if the other town needs wood or bricks, but we'll bring some a little Sir. bit. We're going to send you to Ankara because there is... I feel like we might have an excess of um, we might have a double up on a trade route we'll check so you that oh you produce your own food so you don't really have much in the way of famine really I mean, you should have food I don't know maybe there's really a lot more consumption going on they're gonna burn through that wheat pretty quick probably exceptional state and you don't need anything else so, again, like, we've got the trade routes here, but it doesn't actually show me... shows me that they're running, and which ones are, you know, what the profit and all that is. But there's not a quick overview to see... Yeah, just all my traders the way that I would like. So we're mostly working in the Byzantium region. We know about some competitors. Oh, how are we doing score-wise? Yeah, pretty samey actually. Sort of keeping pace with what's going on here. Maybe I'll run. I don't know what. Got more metal and tools. Oh, you know what? Run a tool route from there to over here and back. Plus, you don't have that many overlap between your resources. That might actually the be kind of handy ready. to do. Just inject more tools over at this end of things. So what do you complain about? Raw materials, right. You need more grain. I mean, there is a grain trade route stuff going on here. Maybe that's a capacity problem. 
I don't expect so. I don't actually have the stats as to, like, what the capacity of the town is, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, I don't have enough uh, money right now to go and build any more, um, to build any more buildings. We're going to have to let us turn a bit of a profit first, which our traders are doing. And I produced an extra trader, that's right. Who's got a shortage of what? You are missing metal tools. Actually, we are running a route already from Majernopol to you, so you will get tools eventually. Maybe I'm going to run a route from Constantinople to here, just to help bring the salt and meat down a little deeper into the Empire. And then we'll deal with you afterwards. Okay. That is a thing. Um, my soldiers... Are all idle. You're there. You're there. You're scouting over here. What is let's this? A shipwreck. Okay, let's find out what goes on there. Oh, bit of a battle. Hopefully you're okay. And yeah, what I'll try to do is build up a bank account and troops have acquired 50% experience. Good. Did you win that battle? Or did you die? No, you're still around somewhere. Mercenary, Spearman, Mercenary, Spearman. Or maybe I just have two Spearmen. Maybe I did lose the scout. Boo! So far. Anyway, you get over there. Let's see what warfare is Let's like. Get to it. Next time! In the, uh, yeah, in the next video. We're going to take this army. We're going to bring him over to uh, Krayova and see what that does. Meanwhile, our Builder. We do have an idle builder. I should actually... could have done it ahead of time. But let's build that route. As far as I can tell, it doesn't seem to take any money or anything. It just choice. happens instantly. Maybe upgrading it later on does. But that may have made the uh, troops move a little bit faster. We have a scout over there. They're going to see me. I'm very curious to see how this goes. Thanks for watching another episode of our Let's Play a Little Bit of Grand Ages Medieval. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.